Okay, this is a used board. I already scrapped this board for parts. <clears throat> and I'm going to remove this part. This is a ticker. Okay. Someone having a problem removing this is not easy. I am doing it so much time that I don't even think about it, but for other people it's not easy. Um, I'm trying to show it from the beginning. I apply a lot of solder. I heat the the um the plate up and I use a ton of solder. I dump solder onto it. I mean the purpose of doing that is making the whole thing really hot. And I soak it in a solder. It's well saturated. Okay. Still need more, so I'm gonna wind up some more solder and dump dump more. Okay, after I done do that, I go to the side and make sure the side is already also soaked with solder. Okay. I add enough solder that the actual plate when I touch it it actually melts solder, see? Look. Okay. And I go right right around I didn't learn this from someone else. I just remind that that's the only way I can get it up. If you try to force it any other way, you're going to damage it, uh, damage the circuit board. So this is the only way I could do it. Go right around and heat it up real good. Okay. Now the sword is all around it. Now this is where I use my really tiny screwdriver and I pry it open. I go each side and kind of pry it. Boom. Okay, release. And there you go. Now after I remove the, the plate, then I get a solder wick. This one is a little bit too thick, so what I do, I try to double it up. And I use it to clean the board. I have to be real careful. With a used board, the cheapest way to move, the quickest way to remove one of these plates. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> but I do that because this board is not good. Okay, thanks for watching.